Hello everybody, this is Val the Narrator and Bugsy Prime and to everybody's everlasting shock I'm Sakamaru. You guys waiting for this breakdown? Yep. So uh is there a reason why you're mobilizing the troops for the boss? Just in case. See, the boss has been telling me about this Malio dude. He should say I should know it because I'm his echo, but I really didn't know who Malio was, but he told me. So, he ha I have my troops on standby just in case this Malio dude decides to make a move. <sighs> so, we're just kind of, we're just kind of waiting out. Hey, you should totally see how. Um, so I uh, heard that uh, old Black Bomber uh, has a picture of Lady Toki, like, has a picture of Seto in his, in his office. How you feel about that? I just got one thing to say to Black Bomber. Bro, you, you think Lady to you think Seto's gonna... You think Seto's gonna give you some action, my friend? Give you a little boom boom in your what? Give you a little boom boom? Let's just say... Take it from a guy who knows. You think you might... You think you might be getting something out of this deal? Trust me. Seto will be getting something out of you. It ain't... It ain't gonna be fun, I can tell you that. And I'm a guy who's had many run-ins with Seto. Heck, I don't talk a lot about Jirai in these videos because I don't want any Jiraiyans to know that I'm doing what I do. I don't want any Jiraiyans to know, especially her. I already got Lady Tokimi calling my brain every freaking day. It's basically the equivalent of like, do you want some, do you want some action with a goddess? I'm like, been there, done that. I already have, I had Valentina. I'm saying it didn't do me once. I'm with Miss. I'm with Miss Enigma now. Please respect the fact that that Bugsy is no longer smooth, but he is all. But he can be slick if he wants to. <laughs> Spades like reference. No one's gonna get that. And it doesn't matter if they get it. Trust me, half my audience, only a good portion watches Homestuck related content. Everybody else just watches the Sonic content, so I can make as many Homestuck references as I want and people are just going to be confused. But I try to keep it to a minimum because literally... Just people get ira Some people get unrationally angry whenever I do a Homestuck related reference like... I ain't never seen it, so how am I going to know? But I don't want to read Homestuck because I am way, 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 way too lazy, even though there's like a freaking unofficial collection of Homestuck that I can literally set up and read anytime with extras and goodies and mods and whatnot. But no, 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 Bugsy. The boss and No Name constantly try to get us all to read it. We don't need to read. Okay, hold up. I think I just I I fucked I fucked it up a little bit. Hold up. All right, cool. All right. Well, let's get started with the cover. It's like free. It's a lot. Like, oh my god, this arc is finally ending. <laughs> Thank God away, this arc is finally ending. <laughs> Can I just say, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Nagus, whatever this forum is called, we're calling it Monstrous. Monstrous, Monstrous Nog. What do you want to call him, Monstrous Nog? Val? I don't know, I like Monstrous Nog, I think it's funny. Yep. 
Ah. I think it's all that hummus I ate. I told you, man. You shouldn't be eating hummus and cheese before we start. But you're like, oh, no. No, I'm... No, I'm Val. I can just do it because I got a booming voice. Bugsy, calm down. But can I say... Did Sonic win attack? Laura, Laura B. Johnny Unique. Gala Routini. Johnny Unique. Dr. Z. Digimon. Rocket Pal. D Jim Deer Fluid. And you, Jimbo. It sounds like. Denver Nix and all these other people who wrote this or, or worked on some way <clears throat> we we give you <clears throat> we give you our highest esteem and that's something we okay we got Jeffrey we got not we got monster dog kind of basically just got Hershey and saying oh I'm going to kill her if you guys don't do it. See, but, like, the one thing I wanted to take an actual fine tooth comb. Here's the thing that is different from the... Here's the thing that's different from the actual comic. Characters... Characters get... Like, characters in, like, the Archie books actually get the feel. They actually get the feel set. It's not, woo, time to get to another adventure. No. Sonic is still too shooken up from being being roboticized for maybe about a month or a week or whatever. However long she was roboticized. And I know everybody be like, well, Bugsy, she got gutted. Bugsy, she didn't get gutted. I'm like, guys, it doesn't matter if she got gutted as a robot or not. It doesn't matter. Because, he's, because I think it's better that she didn't get gutted. Okay? Or this would be real. <clears throat> or Sally would have say Mega Forever. And do you really want that? I mean, for freaking jewels, it makes sense, but not for Sally. And I kind of like it, you know, because, you know, Archie Sonic Online pays attention to continuity. How characters feel. How characters. How Sally felt while being roboticized and not being able to stop herself. And I know a lot of Sonic Amy fans would be like. Well, she she didn't stop herself because he's evil. And to that I say, could you all Sonic Amy fans for once in your lives fuck off? I mean, is is that like a hard thing to do? Sorry guys, we I dealt with Well, the boss and I kind of dealt with a bunch of Sonic 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 Amy fans that were just insane in the membrane. For a, lack, for a lack of speaking, but if you want to see more of that, that's on the website. Bo the boss did a pretty good video on it. Check it out. But yes, yeah, Sonic being a good a good boyfriend and a person that knows Sally in and out and knows how that affected how being Mecha Sonic being Mecha Sally offended affected her. Mecha Sally affected her. He just basically takes her to safety. Because that's the kind of person Sonic is. He that's and we'll and we'll just say this. Whenever Sonic Ali fans whenever Sonic Amy fans write them, write Sonic, they always be like, hey, Sonic is the Sonic is a wistful object of of Amy's desire. And he doesn't have any agency at all. <laughs> like none. <laughs> Uh, can we just talk about this like shot of not of like Monster Nog's face? Ooh my God! You know what that reminds me of? The Mad Hatter dude in Cowboy Bebop when like Spike was at that at that like abandoned amusement park and the dude was like <laughs> and he was bouncing around him. Now that that was creepy. He was like, <laughs> ah! and then he got. Then he got shot. He's like, Mario, Mario, and then he got ran over. <laughs> I 
looks exactly like that dude's face, I swear to God. But the Ixis wizards uh, being in here really just, you know, they, you know, it just shows that the, it just shows that, like, the, you know, the team pays attention to this sort of thing. And trust me, having a bunch of, having a bunch of, probably a bunch of spirits in your body is not good. I take it, I've seen people possessed before. It's not a pretty sight. Do I think Jeffrey is actually trying to stop? He probably did stop Nagus from trying to kill Hershey. And can I just say that Hershey, like, honest to God, Hershey was the best freaking, freaking answer for Jeffrey not being so, uh, you know, uh, really, you know, really uh, questionable towards Sally. And I don't care what I don't care what old Kenny I don't care what old Kenny Kin Kin has to say. Like legit, the whole you know Jeffrey going out to Sally, given their ages, is creepy. Okay, it would have been just better if Jeffrey was like the same age as Sonic and Sally. It would have been great. Monkey Con does that exact thing. <laughs> I'm just glad he got with Archie. Jeez. I was like, oh my god. Sorry, I'm just venting. Nah, man, man, I've been. I've been a whole bunch of times on this channel. I like how Nagus just. Nagus is so deliciously evil. He doesn't. Like. We all know him being a good king was a ruse, so he could just roll with an iron fist. And I like the fact that, like, uh, King Max is stuck in a wheelchair. Like, I like the fact that King Max, even though he's stuck in a wheelchair, and even though I think he's, like, partially catatonic, I don't, like, I think he's, like, partially catatonic because he can only say a few words. He never really says a whole bunch. Uh, I think King Max is just getting old bugs. He's just getting he's just getting up there in years. And sure, we kinda hate him for a bit. <laughs> a bunch of things. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Sakamaro, let's talk about that for a minute. Calling Sonic a commoner when he has literally saved you and the kingdom more times than anybody else in Mobius. Literally, literally went into the void to save you. While you were doing your little, while you doing your little rock candy, while you were doing your little rock candy, eh, which you were crystallized. But still, Sonic ain't good. Sonic was never good enough for your daughter. You know, Bugsy, do I, like I think him being in that wheelchair is karma. I mean, like, him being in a wheelchair and being immobilized, I think that's karma. Okay, I'm so that's, that's going too far. <laughs> a little bit. But him being immobile, yeah, I think that's kind of, that's kind of, you know, he kind of deserves it. Low key. For just, like, literally being an asshole his whole entire his whole entire stint as king when he got it back. Like, Sonic has saved the kingdom more times than any, like, more times than anybody can say. Him and the Freedom Fighters are freaking heroes. And it just, I know Nagus' magic was like, ooh, don't trust the Freedom Fighters. But you'd think a lot of people would have fought it and would have been like, hmm, well, yeah, they didn't really save us during the Iron Queen, but they did come back. I mean, they could have been assholes and just let us die, but I think it's just because Nagus was playing on everybody's fears. That's how it worked. But can we say the same to, like, Hamlin? Was he just acting on people's fears? Nah, he has an actual vendetta against... He has an actual vendetta against Freedom Fighters. If they bring that porter back, we got... Oh, I gotta... We gotta talk about him in the breakdown, I swear to God. Here we... But let's go. Okay. Elias walking off and actually doing his king thing. Can I just, can I just honestly say, seeing the Secret Freedom Fighters, seeing them finally get utilized to their full, honest-to-God potential, 
Oh my god. All of them, just all of them just doing their thing. It just makes me so happy. Like, you can't think, God knows what Ian would have done to them. God knows. With him going like, oh, let's have Sonic go away from the Freedom Fighters. Like, yeah, because I want everything like the games. And, oh, I gotta have everything like the games. But now I don't want to do that anymore. Make up your mind, Mr. Flynn. What do you want to do? I think we all know what he wants to do. But we can't say it on YouTube. But you know it's saying on the website. Uh... Dang, Val, didn't know you'd be, you know, used to be that level. Hey, I'm lowbrow and highbrow, you guys know that. Eh, Car eh. Cornelius is right. He does switch. We got Cream. Cream got a concussion, which really, it, it don't look like she got a concussion. Wait a minute, yes it does. The rocks did it. Hit her head. You see a little line, it just boom, boom, and then bounce off her head. Pretty big rock. Rotor in his Iron Warrior suit. Is that what we're calling it? Hey, I've always called it Iron Warrior. Hey, you know, because at least. Hey, at least Rotor. At least Rotor isn't a douche like, like Iron Man can be in sometimes when he's written. Sometimes when he's written like that. Nah, that... <laughs> we all know who that belongs to nowadays. But we can't say it on the channel because we'd have a bunch of Marvel fans all up in our... All up in our collective, uh... Collective, uh, brains. And Silver for the save. I forgot that Heavy actually spoke proper. Like, I remember I remember him saying a few things. And, um, hold on a minute. Hold on just a minute. Can I just say, just seeing Big and going, I'm Big, just makes me happy. But, you know, like I said, Heavy... Heavy having this proper way of speaking, I forget. I almost forgot about that. Hold up. Hold up. Can you one minute? I gotta go grab. I gotta go grab something for my dog. Princess. Get bug. Get buggy the. Get buggy the thing. You can't be laying on. Sorry guys, we'll continue. We'll continue. Just give me a moment. Give me a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, that was cool. Seeing Silver actually come in and come in and save the day. That was pretty cool. Cream basically, cream basically not being able to fly because of the concussion. Good, like this has really good art. I ain't gonna lie. Like a lot of people's rides with with the whole like. Oh, the princess. There we go. Anywho, sorry, my dog. So, anyways, we got Larry. Like, like. It's actually pretty good artwork, like, on par with the actual, like, comic before it left. <laughs> Just Sonic's face. And Larry was always a guy who just, like, had bad luck, but this time his bad luck is actually... His bad luck is actually doing a good, 
Like, he's doing a good job. And I like how the Freedom Fighters just never knew about the Secret Freedom Fighters at all. It just makes it a bigger surprise because Shard. Shard, my favorite freaking Metal Sonic. Like, oh my god, I love this guy. I love this guy. They could have, they should have had, like, I feel like the old, I feel like the actual, like, I feel like the prop, like, the RG Sonic, the RG Comics proper could have gave Shard his own, like, solo series after this. You know, him and Nicole, I'm not saying I ship those two or anything. I like how Shard just says, no hard feelings for getting at me, you're right. <laughs> and just hurt. And he's like, hey, aren't you nice to see you? I thought you were dead. And she just rocks like, huh, thanks. <laughs> you know, you know, her, she's still having... Hershey's still remembering that, uh, you know, we gotta save Jeffrey, we can't just leave him. And Sonic getting pissed off. Now, something we haven't seen in a long time. Way in the Eggman Victorious arc. And Elias stepping up and being king. Like, actually being a king. It's just so... So inspiring, you know? This dude that was like, I don't want to be king! I just really loathe being king because, like, like, I have a wife and a son. Like, why are they never in the... Why are they, Like, Elias. I was like, I used to be like, Elias, really this? Why don't you bring your son and your kid into the freaking castle? There's enough room, bro. You gotta, like, you gotta be away from them. No, they can come live with you. Or, you know, that's probably something the old daddy dearest told him. <laughs> and Nagas is like, eh, pretender. And I'm like, no, I just, I, I don't even, I don't think, I don't know how you thought any of this shit was going to work. Literally, Sonic and the others always stop you. Oh, yeah. You see, you see Vanilla in one of the, one of the pages, hold up. Which I am so happy. I don't know. Vanilla's looking like she's giving like a poof. Like, Vanilla's giving like, it's like a, uh, Vanilla is giving Elias the about fucking time look. Like, about fucking time? Can't former king do something? <laughs> like, she knows something we don't. You don't think Vanilla's been, uh, you know. Dude, no. I mean, yeah, we can make jokes about that, but, <laughs> like, let's not. Let's not. For once, let's be serious. Elias is leading. And also, you see Bernadette in jewels, man. You see Bernadette in jewels. I, like, I, you know, Top, out of character for a minute, Taka has seen a bunch of people role-playing as Sonic and saying that Bernadette was, like, Sonic's stepmom. I'm like, what the act? Like, I get you want to make Queen Alina part of the canon, but y'all just, y'all just weird. Y'all are just weird. You can't fit the Sonic Underground with every canon. It just, some, some stuff can fit, others can't. But it's good to see that Birdette is like, you know, just being around with Sally because she is really shaking up. You see, Queen Alicia right there like oh my god my son is finally doing something and even the king's like finally son you stepped up but i'm still not gonna say anything because i because i'm just immobilized and kind of die like seriously what is the deal with king max again i know he's old but that doesn't mean he's like old and he can't talk is it just like because he's getting weak and frail queen alicia looking like she's like like, she looking old, but she can talk. I, I don't know. I just think maybe he's just going senile, dude. And we see the two... We see the two from the... 
from the um, from Lupe's little clan. I think they're princes or whatever. I don't really I forget a lot about these. <coughs> these, two, but mm, mm, mm. so we, so they're on route. They're t they're bantering. I just again, I have to talk about this little panel with Tails and Shard. Like Char, like like Tails, is like motherfucker, I gotta do what? This motherfucker had me in Mount Mobius and was about to kill me. And like, Shard's like, gee, she trapped a kid in the volcano one time. I'm like, Shard, you almost killed, you almost killed him, okay? You almost killed him. I mean, let's be real, Nagus did, Nagus did far worse to Tails. He was missing for like a month, and then like, we found out the, the Tails we were following was a clown. Yeah. And some people were like, I, I've heard that some people look at our videos and go like, "You guys are you guys are wild," and that maybe that's why people don't like the RG comics. I'm like, no, because you guys look at like one panel and you know and just make your judgments without actually reading a fucking arc of the of the freaking book. You don't even try. You just look at a panel and go like, "Oh yes, it's always been weird." How about how would you guys actually just look? How about you guys just read? I know, reading is hard. But I think reading these actually and knowing the context of these are actually is actually what makes the comic fun. And again, the comic is always opened up with the comics used to open up with Far Beyond the World did you know from the games or the comics? I mean games or the cartoons. Like Jesus. That's so like people won't you know what I hate when people used to say, well, uh, you know, they had the San A.M. cast only to stretch out the plot. Stretch out the plot? There's like so much in this comic that you guys don't even look at because you think it's weird. How, did, how the fuck do you know? Nah, you just come in with your own little prejudices because it's not the Sonic you know. That's why. And rather than trying to look at it, you, you're scared of conforming and thinking that you actually like it. So you sit there and go, it's weird. How do I know this? I'm a goddamn psychiatrist. Give me some fucking slack. Motherfuckers. Jesus. <laughs> Guys, I, I think we're getting off topic here. We need to get to the actual, like, payoff. How I just, like, came in riding on Silver's Rock, which could be, could be misconstrued as sexual, but we're not gonna get there. Sonic's cool little spin dash sword move, all the Sonic and the Black Knight. And then just freaking Jeff, freaking. Oh, wait a minute, no, no, no. That. Oh, wait a minute, that is an Antoine, that is like, that is like what Antoine will actually be doing, he's not actually there. I mean, false alarm, I really, really thought Antoine was actually there. Like, I thought Antoine was like, literally like, like, it's like how, it's kind of like the, uh, father-son Kamehameha, like the father-son Kamehameha, or Kamehameha, where, you know, go, you know, Goku was, like, dead, and, like, we only see, like, an after image of what, like, Goku, and, like, we see an after image of Goku, but he's not actually, he's there, but not really. So I think it's a little bit like that, but I really did get excited, because I was like, oh my god, Antoine just came, like, he just, he just fucking came to the fight, he was like, oh, it's time for me to do my job. Let me do this like it's my it's my job. I want to see, man. I like I don't think like it doesn't look like Antoine's out of the coma, but I hope he does come out of it. Because you know, like Antoine became one of my favorite characters. Like in Sam, he's really just I want to bone the princess, and that's all that's about me. I'm a coward too. 
you know, and he got better. And the thing is, Fuse got on Fuse was got on this comic's head because they wanted Antoine to stay cowardly, which I thought was fu which I used to think. No, a lot of it seems to think that was so fucking stupid. Like, dude, so you want Antoine to just stay the same? He can't change, he can't grow, you just want him to be the same old? I'm gonna build Sally and be a coward and cry in the corner like a, like a scared little puppy. Like, honestly, I get, I get that you don't want that, but like, but we like the comic because it kind of shows if the games, like if the games, a little bit of the games and a little bit of Sanium just meshed. If we, like if Sega would have just bent a knee once, I'm telling you, these Sonic games would be full of story, full of character, full of so many things that no one ever gives a chance. And y'all could be like, well, well, yeah, say you're Japan. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I'm just saying, like, I ain't never seen someone do, like, an RG Sign game that isn't, like, that isn't, like, a, that isn't, like, a straight-up brawler, which I do, like, Sonic Liberation, Sonic the Hedgehog Liberation, don't at me. I do, like, the Sonic RPG, but I'm just, like, I wish there was more of that. Some stuff pulling from the RG. Archie Comics and some stuff probably pulling from this. This would be so cool. But we're always focusing on like new cannons <coughs> and nothing like this. But I do like the image. Uh, we honestly do. And and Crimson, if you see this video, this is for you. Now that's what I call, now that's what I call the power of teamwork. Get him, Sonic. Actually, that is my Sonic impression. That is my Sonic impression. I haven't done that in years. But yeah, this is just a, let, this is just the uh, writer or editor just talking about what they're doing. Like a little interview in the back of the comic. I say read this at your own pace because, you know, it, you know, stuff like this is good. Me and, me and the guys have already read this and we really enjoy this. Okay, we didn't enjoy the, uh, interview with Ian because we have our own things about Mr. Flynn. And no offense to the team. It's, I'm happy that you guys got him because a lot of you probably wanted this to be done and you probably wanted his blessing a little bit, so that's cool. Thank you for your patience. The, the group, the group is incredibly talented, and tired people. We feed off enthusiasm and niceness. Well, hey, that's the one thing we got in spades. Get it, bro? Get it, bro? Spades. All right, on second round, that was pretty funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. And no one's gonna understand that reference but me, you, and Cornelius. Well, and oh, but like, let's look at this. Let's look at this last thing right here. Oh my God, just Nagis, but Monster Nog looking all imposing. And Sonic just getting ready to getting ready to do this. What's not the like about this image? Oh, a bunch of Sonic fans would be like, Oh my god, this isn't this isn't Sonic. I don't know what this is. This is fan fiction and we're just gonna sit there and be like Oh you oh regular Sonic fans. Do you not understand that this is actually pretty good? And someone actually worked the time had some time on it. Nah, they're just gonna see it's weird because you know, where it equals we don't want to understand we we don't want to understand anything that the uh, SAO the ASO team are doing because why should we I'm just uh, I'm just happy that this is happening 
We still got endangered species coming down the pike. We got we got probably a new Sonic universe coming down. We see Bunny. I'm just like, I'm just like. I hope the after this arc we actually set up uh, Sonic and the others going to get Bunny. I would like to see that, and like after that, it's like gonna be a complete. They can they get to do whatever they want at this point. So I gotta say this is going to be great. This is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be epic. I can't wait until issue 153 because I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna be epic. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so freaking cool. And like when Bugs, you know, Bugs usually calls us all into into the booth and we're all like. Bugsy, we're like, Bugsy's like, Bugsy, do your thing. I'd be like, Val, I said, well, get in here, it's time. See, and me and the guys, we don't know when these come out, but whenever we see them, we're just like, oh, it's time. And I'm just like, and, you know, when I see this, all I see, all I hear is live to fight the night. Da -da 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 -da. You know. This is a version, just a version of Monster Nod's uh, Face This Day With Me. Just plays in my mind also. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey y'all. Welcome to the greatest storm. I be, I know, you have waited much too long. Hear that. Red the sword and brought to the heat of day. Like a night, I'll fight until the night is won. In a rage, I'll save each and every, each and every, each and every one till this war is won. Am I meant to rule by the sword slashing through the every inch of the power, the power in you? As I sit, as I stand. By the table I command my kingdom. I'm the knight of the wind. I'm the knight of the wind. Yeah, we're pre-recording this, so we're gonna add all this other stuff, and we're gonna add the intro and opening and post. So right now we just wanted to get the like when you're seeing this. We probably got everything already in, but I just wanted to say that this is awesome. And I, I just want to say, like, Elias stepping up. The Secret Freedom Fighters finally busting out of the shadows and being like, Motherfucker, we about to help. So I'm just happy that everybody's, like, just, just out here fighting Nagus. Because it has, because I haven't had a moment like this where they all, like, literally, where they all literally, like, were beat. They all were beating on Robotnik. It was just so... That was so satisfying when they fought the Iron Queen. And the Iron King, that was so satisfying. You know, Snively is still... You guys, Snively is still in... Like, Snively is still in the capsule. Like, are we ever going to get Snively out of that capsule? He is still in there. <laughs> he kind of, yeah, he is. And freaking the Iron Queen is none the wiser. Hey, because, hey Bugsy, you know that Robotic probably gave that Snively some enhancements. What are you? Oh no! Ah, oh, come on! I was like, we're not on the website. We can't make jokes like that. But come on, you you gotta tell me you ain't thinking about it just a little bit. Like Robotic was like, to get the Iron Queen, to get the Iron Queen off my trail. I'm gonna give this Nively clone some extra things so she'll be out of my way. Guys, don't. <laughs> Guys, no, no. Now you're making me think that freaking Snively's singing the, the fucking whisper, the fucking whisper song for the Yin Yang Twins. I don't want to freaking. I don't want to hear Snively go, What do you see? What do you see, Ma? I, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. Because now I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, we need to stop. 
We need to stop. Uh, I don't care if anybody says we're, what we're doing now is cringe. Fuck you. This is our video. We'll do whatever the fuck we want. And if y'all think it's cringe just because we're actually actually having fun in this video, you need to reevaluate what you consider cringe. Because people are just having actual fun. And you can't put yourself out there, but we can. So that's why you feel kind of a second hand because you wish you can but the only thing you can do is actually put people down for feel for feeling that way and to that we say that is pretty fucking sad that's all we gotta say and whoever disliked our video and yeah we found out like if you're an Amy or Ian Flynn fan like let me just tell you something we have opinions on both things deal with it Jesus, we ain't gonna dance around you guys. Except, except that people don't like Son Amy and Freaky. Except that some people that don't really like Son Amy, but we ain't willing. To, we're not willing to hate on you guys just because of that. Yeah, exactly. And and like Ian Flynn fans, you gotta understand that none of us like no one on this channel really likes Ian Flynn. You have to accept that shit. Okay? Like, god dang, we, we're, you know, I don't care what you, I don't care what you guys say, I don't care what Flynn says, we're, we're able to criticize the man and not like him, and that is our prerogative. And if you guys can't accept that, go somewhere else. Yeah, go where all the Flynn fans congregate. Where's that? What's that? Uh, I think the gaming apologist. Ooh! Oh, Val, shut, shut up, shut up, shut up. We gonna get in trouble. Shut up. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A man who literally loves loves Ian Flynn a little too much. I mean, I get you. You got your metal knuckles. But I'm just saying, calling us all psychotic detractors just because we don't like Ian Flynn. I mean, that's going a little too far. <sighs> I'm just saying, you know, like go to where you con go to where all y'all congregate, which is pretty much Game of Politics's channel. The funk, the freaking Ian Flynn funk of a thousand years opens. <laughs> okay, okay, we're we're just okay, okay, we're just joking around, but like honestly, 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 we're gonna let that go with the Game of Politics. He said it once, and we're not gonna. We're not going to keep on bringing it up, but I just wanted to do one last time. It's a joke. It's a joke. Calm down. Calm down. And trust me, we all have to say that it's a joke because none of you actually understand the word subtlety. You know, we've kind of figured some of our audience, some of the people who do watch us actually don't understand when we're joking. So we got to spoon feed it to some people that don't really understand how we joke. So, you know, that's that. Um, but other than that, I, I'm excited. I'm really happy that we're going to see Sonic go up against uh, Nagus. That after image of Anton was amazing. Because it shows that the, pe the people didn't forget that Nagus, that freaking Antoine did a color. Antoine. I think I'm just really excited and ready to go. Like... Like, I wish, I wish that they could make issues faster, but I know that's, like, physically impossible because they just got finished with this one and they're probably working on the next one right now as we speak. So, I'm just happy that we got this out and we're seeing it. And I just want to thank the team once again for giving us all this. So, we want to just say from the bottom of our hearts, from, from, you know, from the, uh, it's just saying, like, from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate all the work you guys do, no matter what. Sure, we've been making our little jokes and our little jabs at Ian Flynn and, and the Sonic Amy fans, but we love, well, honestly, we love you guys for bringing something that we all love back into the forefront. So thank you. Really, I mean... We really can't thank you all enough for doing this for us. And not for just us. The boss, too. He 
he really gets a kick. He really gets a kick out of these videos. And I know we're breaking the fourth wall, but he really gets a kick out of these videos, so just thank you. And that concludes the breakdown, but we'll be back. We'll be back. But right now me and me and me and the guys have to get prepared for something uh, major. So we'll be right so we'll be back in a few. The boss will be making more videos, so we'll you'll be seeing us again, but we'll be on the website. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ichigo and Scourge are doing another reaction um, pretty soon, so be prepared for that. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be cool. Because y'all know when Ichigo and Scourge get to do the reactions on Meganary's videos, usually it comes out pretty well. We'll see you guys real soon. This is the this is the theatric trio, and we'll be seeing you guys real soon. The theatric trio? Huh, I like it. Me too. I thought you guys would. Peace. Peace, everybody, and remember, be creative, be awesome, and to quote Bill and Ted, be excellent to each other. Peace.